Yeah, this is John Sarver again, and this is our ninth installment in our Michigan Solar Story Series that's sponsored by GLREA and, and Michigan Solar Users Network. And tonight we have uh, John Blattner from uh, Pearl Certification going to talk about their process and their procedures uh, with respect to certification, which uh, can uh, helps expand the marketplace for solar and help uh, homeowners kind of verify that uh, solar does add value to your home. Uh, please mute yourself until we get to the end of the program. Uh, we've been having about 20 people or so each time. And so at the end, we're just asking people to unmute to ask a question. But uh, at this time, I'm just going to turn it over to John. Great. Well, hello, everybody. Um, not quite sure what the pro forma here is. Um, I would like to uh, run through a slide deck with you, um, but really I'm very interested in just kind of facilitating a question and answer because our, our, uh, our product and process, when I first heard of Pearl Certification, what, what they were doing in the marketplace, I had a thousand questions and they didn't have enough time to answer them all in one sitting. So uh, I'd like to honor that. <laughs> with uh, a little bit more than 20 minutes of Q&A, uh, so I'll try not to ramble on too much, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and share a, a quick presentation with you and uh, introduce uh, my coworker, uh, Amy Belay, and she is the Vice President of Success with Pearl. As mentioned, my name is John Blatter. I'm the Solar Partnerships Executive. A little background on me, uh, long and winding road, uh, brought me into the solar business some years back, commercial, and then into the residential side of things. John, uh, I just want to interrupt and just say you're sharing your desktop. Is that on purpose? Is this, are you seeing the we're actual? Not seeing, we're not seeing slides. Oh, gosh. All right. Let's try. How about now? There you go. All right. Well, let's skip me and get straight to Amy. Um, <laughs> anyway, long and story career in solar, um, and then found Pearl certification, and it answered so many questions that I'd been fielding from homeowners, and I saw an opportunity to really drive adoption on a broader scale, which is what Pearl's all about. Uh, Amy has been in the energy efficiency and contracting world for, Amy, why don't you tell us? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, hi everybody, uh, Amy Belay. Um, I've been working with and for contractors for about 15 years in a variety of capacities, uh, everything from sort of the national level, working with Energy Star, Home Performance with Energy Star, then working directly with utility and program sponsors. It's actually when I first uh, got my first opportunity to set foot in the mitten, uh, working with DTE and Consumers Energy years ago. I uh, started to meet some of the contractors in your market, and um, yeah, I really, and I mean this with all sincerity, I, I love our Michigan contractors probably better than anybody else. Um, <laughs> I've been with Pearl for about three years and have personally onboarded and supported somewhere around 70 contractor partners that were solar, HVAC, and home performance. Um, and I'm really here to support John in, um, in this, this presentation today. And answer any questions that I might be lost for. Uh, lost on. Um, and I would be remiss if we didn't thank um, Mr. Sarver and Mr. Freeman. I'm going to admit the Johns because we've got a, a pile on of Johns here, but for all the good work you guys do for the state of Michigan and all of us to keep us on track, both policy and awareness wise. So hats off to you and your efforts. I'm really pleased to be here today and thank all of you for joining us. Um, I look forward to your feedback at the end of this. So just get right into it. <clears throat> you know, uh, one of the main questions we get is, well, does John know how to work a slide deck? And apparently I don't. <laughs> but who is Pearl? What is Pearl? So we're a national firm that provides third-party certification of high-performing homes. We're, our goal is to drive demand for these improvements by capturing their value as home improvements and home equity gains for the homeowners. So they're not just looking at maybe solar as a purchase and saying, well, how much is it gonna save me on my energy bill, but also translate that into a home improvement value that they can recognize and see the full value of their investment. I think everybody on this call is gonna agree that solar adds value to a home. We've got a hundred different arguments that make perfect sense to us, but when we're talking about broader adoption, preaching it as also a home improvement should you move 
sell, need to refinance your home, we're going to we're going to provide a complete path to ensure that you get maximum value for your investment made in solar energy efficiencies, home performance, et cetera. Uh, so there's a couple of different areas that we work in. It's, it's full circle, right? We work with installing partners as well as the real estate side of things. And, and I'll get into a little bit more than that, more into that as we go on. But at the end of the day, our independent real estate studies show that Pearl certified homes compared to comps in the market can demand about 5% premium in the market. So when you're talking about the investment in solar, we talk about you know the savings on the avoided costs, tax credits, et cetera, but improve value in the home with a clear path forward to those home equity gains. <clears throat> and kind of our goal where we come from is initially looking at home improvements and understanding the market that home buyers want high performing homes. They're actively seeking them. There was really no formula out there that, that made it accessible for home buyers uh, to identify those real estate agents to market them, appraisers to understand it, and mortgage brokers to, to quantify it. And so Pearl really set out to say, hey, let's make a market shift, a paradigm shift, if you will. Change the way homes are bought and sold by changing the way they're valued, right? Um, changing idealism into realism, so to speak, where we say, instead of uh, you know, updating your backsplash or finishing your basement, let's fix what's in between the walls and the attic, all the things that make a home healthy, efficient, uh, and energy independent. And we encourage those things through our certifications, showing homeowners that there's a clear path to value. So our mission is pretty clear, to encourage homeowners to rehab 10% of the US housing stock by 2030. And we're gonna do that by driving it as an investment strategy, not a save the planet, save money on your energy bill strategy, which also feeds into this. But we see as a broader market adoption if people are rewarded for investing in their homes in the form of home equity gains, which is what most of us are familiar with, or the broader population is, um, we think that there'll be a more active pursuit of these measures moving forward. So, we set out and starting out, we had to make sure our building science was sound. So working with some of the most recognizable names in the industry and folks that worked with these recognizable names, such as Amy herself and, and a host of others that have done some amazing work in the uh, home performance and energy efficiency side of things at Pearl, we came up with a scoring system uh, to, that satisfies fairly rigorous standards in the building, uh, building science industry. And then we reached out to the real estate side of things, uh, National Association of Realtors and the Appraisal Institute and said, how can we properly document this? So appraisers, real estate agents, and mortgage brokers will be able to, one, identify, two, market, three, assign a value, and B, and D, loan money for these improvements in these home and home values. And so they came together and we reached a licensing agreement with the Appraisal Institute to issue the green appraisal addendum, which you'll see shortly. Uh, and the rest of the partners you'll see up here are folks that we've consulted with, have either been on our board or we're in partnership with, um, kind of feeding the beast of knowledge and, and awareness towards building a, a more effective program. Uh, and this is what gets issued. So I'll walk you through the process. A homeowner finds a Pearl certified contractor. We'll use Ecotelligent Homes, my experience. Uh, Eco Intelligent Homes comes over, does a home analysis, says here's the areas of improvement we can do that's in our scope of work, uh, maps that out, and uh, you know did the rim joist insulation, attic insulation, so on and so forth. They enter all that data into Pearl's system, and then Pearl documents all of that data and populates the uh, green appraisal addendum plus a 32-page report that spells out everything anybody involved in the real estate transaction is going to need to know. And this is page one, certified solar. Um, coming from my solar background, what a homeowner would ask me, what happens if I sell or refinance? Um, and I would say, well, there's the LBL study, right? Selling into the sun says you should be, uh, a home in Arizona is gonna get 4% more based on this or $4 a watt in Rosemont, California. It's 10 years old and has nothing to do with Michigan or your home or your equipment. Or here's an article that, that Money Magazine put out or Zillow put out. Uh, 
this is more effective for a homeowner because you're able to see, hey, this is a tie to my my equipment, the installer that put it in, there's a dedicated cert certification number and all the paperwork necessary to get captured full value for my investment should I sell or refinance my home. Uh, we'll switch gears and focus back on solar. We call out all the high performing features of the solar array that are easily, easily digestible for anybody involved in the real estate transaction. And then we move on and fill out the green appraisal addendum, which is a key part of our business. Uh, as I mentioned, we have a licensing agreement with the Appraisal Institute. Um, key members from that institute have sat on our board and informed our process. And this comes with every single one of our certifications for each homeowner. Now we can, cert we can certify an entire home or just an asset in that home. And that's meant to encourage that homeowner if maybe they just make one move, say it's solar, now they can look back inside our certification program and say, what are the easy next steps that I can take to move towards a more efficient home? Um, and we hope to encourage more folks and we are seeing more people take those next steps, whether incrementally or whole cloth, to a more efficient, energy efficient home. So I mentioned earlier, we have a third party appraisal study. Uh, when we penetrate a market, we light up the map as we like to say with at Pearl with certifications those homes start to enter the market or the uh, real estate churn they sell they refinance people come back with their uh, victory stories of hey I you know received x dollars for my solar my, my home sold faster and for 30 percent more or five percent more than comps in the market because of the Pearl certification in our real estate program and that's documented in a 72 page appraisal study that's tied directly to our uh, program and it shows a 5% increase in home value when properly marketed and certified and it just goes to this speaks to the value of having your work documented and provided in a, a digestible way for everybody involved in the real estate transaction and the good news is it's working homeowners and contractors are both seeing success with Pearl both those that are selling it and selling with it uh, when I talk about success, I mean contractors, installers, solar companies that are going to folks and saying, hey, you know, this is a great deal for you. You're going to, the solar array is going to pay for itself in nine and a half, ten years. You're going to save all this money over the life of the solar array, so on and so forth. And the homeowner can't just make sense of it. Um, and, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm, you know, $30,000 is a lot of money to me. So... <laughs> When talking about this and saying, hey, this is not only an investment in your energy bill, an investment in the environment and the community, but also can pay for itself upon resale and refinance of the home, that's a very comforting statement for me as a homeowner and to see this flesh out. And delivering that message at the kitchen table for our contractors is also shown success. Um, and so we'll back that up with a little bit of data. We, we surveyed 324 uh, of our contractors installed customers and over 75% of them said that Pearl moved the needle. Now I'm not going to take all the credit for this. They're great companies. Um, they're selling up a storm anyway. Some said a great deal. Some said a lot, some said a moderate amount, some said a little, but all of 75% said it moved the needle. But what's really interesting is when you get inside that data, that 75% of them in a rank choice ask said adding value to their home, mattered the most. Then we go into some of our contractors and I want to talk about the partnerships that we make. We don't just sign up anyone that has a tool bag and a ladder to get up on your roof and install solar. We have a fairly rigorous program where we review credentials, um, reviews, processes inside those companies because we understand that the planning process and installation procedures are as important as the product that's being installed itself. So when these contractors are sitting at the kitchen table saying, hey, we're gonna do great work. Yes, we're gonna be a little bit more expensive, but here's why you should go with us. They're able to back this up by saying, we're gonna document your work, send it to Pearl for third party quality assurance. They're gonna translate that into investment grade data for the real estate transaction to make sure you get full value for your home should you sell or refinance based on the work we've done here today. And we're seeing great companies doing great work increase their business. 
in all aspects of home performance and solar. And some of these companies have gone from regional powerhouses to national powerhouses in the short term of two years. <clears throat> and so really I wanted to uh, open this up to questions, give you kind of a broad overview. There's so much more that we do at Pearl um, on an individual level and in each one of our verticals in solar and home performance and real estate but I wanted to give everybody here an opportunity to kind of run through some questions and answers. Um, oh, and I'm sorry, before I forget, Amy, did you have anything you would like to add? No, I think that was great. I'd love to hear what kind of questions people have. I, I have a, a question from uh, David. Which markets have the greatest coverage by Pearl? Amy, um, I'm going to say Arizona, Michigan, Virginia, South Carolina, the East Coast of Boston, Massachusetts, New York, New York. Anything that I'm missing here? Yeah, the, the Mid Atlantic basically is uh, right. kind of a, you know, New Jersey, New York. Um, the New York doesn't count themselves as Mid-Atlantic, uh, Maryland, Virginia, that area as well. Yeah. And, and growing in Texas, or not Texas, in California right now. John, you may want to stop sharing your uh, the screen because it'd be easier to see people want to ask a question. Yeah, and people should just speak up. They shouldn't ask a question in chat, right, John? Yeah, with this smaller group, it's just easier to unmute and then ask a question. Since, I'm, <laughs> since I've got the floor, uh, yeah, you know, when I talk to uh, groups, of particularly who have uh, grayer hair like I do, uh, you know, a lot of times people are concerned about that they may invest in the solar system and then who knows they may retire and move to Florida. Although these days, I don't know if people are that's a, such a smart thing to do, but uh, you know, and so I always emphasize the increase in value of homes, and I'm just wondering if you find that uh, that is particularly a, a good market for those people who are kind of, uh, uh, maybe, they're, maybe they'll be, their job will be transferred or maybe they'll retire. You know, there's a certain amount of uncertainty there. Right, um, that's actually a really interesting point and something that um, we're seeing a lot of. And, and I'm gonna bring up an instance is, um, we, we deal in a lot of transient markets. I've got a fairly large uh, Sun Power Master dealer down in Florida, and they turn homes on average in Florida every six years. So it's funny that you bring up Florida. It's, it's a very transient market, but they're still doing great. Um, and they say that is the biggest challenge that they have is what do we do for home valuation? Should we sell, right? I get transferred. I've got to head back to Michigan to be around my family or go out to Arizona to take care of mom and dad. Uh, and this is where Pearl has really worked its magic for them. Um, but also, you know, fully documenting the work. We talk about the three biggest investments that people are going to make in their life or three biggest purchases is a home, a car, and hopefully solar, right? And we think about all the cottage industries that surround that. Uh, we used to say a boat. Now I say solar. But um, <laughs> all the cottage industries that surround the home and car purchase that really reinforce and, and help you to feel good about it, right? You pay somebody a lot of money to help you make a good purchasing decision on the home. You've got a lot of resources out there to tell you what the best resale value is when you go to buy a car. When you go to buy solar, you've got Energy Sage, a couple of wonky websites, they're getting better, and the person sitting across from you trying to sell you something. Um, so having that third-party certification and you know, somebody that's been approved by our process and our partners to do the work helps folks feel a little more comfortable and we're, we're more conditioned to make purchases that are more informed, right? And that's how I see Pearl helping us drive adoption, even when the question comes up, well, what if I move in five years? My answer to that is great. You're going to save money on your electric bill, do great things for your community and environment, and you're also going to improve the value of your home, you know? run don't walk let's put some more solar panels up tomorrow so uh, that, that just, my... sorry john didn't even interrupt oh, you're fine. um I'll, I'll just add that you know homeowners make a decision to move forward with a purchase for one reason and justify it for a totally different reason 
you know, people, it's like, think of granite countertops. People don't buy granite countertops because they add value to their home, but that is how they justify that decision. What homeowners really want to know is that there's a good quality contractor who's going to take care of them and do right by them. And they justify that by having this validation that this can help improve, increase the value of their home. It's, most people aren't selling or moving. Um, and if they're thinking like that, they're trying to find that rationalization to, to make an informed decision. Uh, John, I have a question. Does, does this pearl certification ex extend only to uh, PV installations or would the other on-site renewables would be uh, factored into the evaluation? Yeah, so I'm kind of a one-trick pony where I only talk about solar, but our entire certification um, is rewards-based for anything that makes the home healthier or more efficient. So if someone were just to say, call up one of our HVAC contractors in the state of Michigan or wherever, and they came over and decided to move forward with a high efficiency system instead of just the cheapest, you know, comfort swap, right? Um, <clears throat> we would certify that asset and then provide that customer and our homeowner a home investment plan to say, here are the next steps you can take to, to build out your certification, improve the value of your home and, and really make those incremental steps. And that's really the game plan as to how we're going to encourage folks to take those small incremental next steps. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of flack from any net zero folks out here. I think I always use the comparison in my neighborhood. There's 200 homes uh, in my subdivision. If five of them were net zero, that would be great, but that's probably not going to happen. But if we improved every single home in my neighborhood, at every single home in my neighborhood by 20% in energy efficiency, that would be a big win for the area. Um, and so that's kind of the approach that Pearl takes. Um, I, did I also hear, Charles, were you asking about other renewables, on-site renewables? Yeah, correct. Any like, uh, you know, a wind or a, a oh, solar thermal surprising. or, a, you know, the solar yeah. stuff, anyways, anything that... Not yet. Yeah, residential wind is not a big enough market for us to make the, make the leap, but hopefully it will be. Cool. I have a question. Yes. Hey, John. Um, so when, you, when, you, when you're talking about high performing in terms of solar, what exactly are you, are you evaluating um, production um, from the system or, or energy losses um, um, from the, you know, the way the house is built, maybe, you know, appliances and HVAC, what are, um, the things that you are assessing. And my second question is, um, what is the main reason for the, the property value increase, you know, after the certification? Is it money invested in the system? Or maybe you can speak a little bit more about those things. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, and you feel free to chime in. So the way we, the way our certification works is we document, and I, I, I tend to when I'm talking about energy efficiency and home performance, high performing homes, conflate that with a solar array. Um, we're gonna take all the information from the installation of the solar array and document that for the report. And that's gonna be, that's gonna service anything that the appraiser may need. If they're gonna run a PV value, a comps analysis, an EI value, et cetera, um, a net present value analysis, they're gonna be able to draw their own conclusions from that. We're just creating a path to value for that appraiser real estate agent, mortgage broker. So um, there is informed by NREL a percentage ranking where you fall in your percentile for your climate region, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for a solar array. It's not going to make a direct valuation. We're just formatting all this information in a way that helps everybody involved in the real estate transaction assign a dollar value to it. Okay. Uh, is that does that make sense? Yeah, does it does it get as technical as to like the quality or the brand of the products that's used uh, in the system, such as the um, solar array, the battery chargers, the type? Um, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna rate um, inside a, again by informed by NREL. It's gonna talk about uh, where they fall percentage wise, percentile in the region. Um, okay. So if you have a you know, a high, a high efficiency panel with a low degradation rate, it's going to show you in the top, you know, two, one percent of solar installations in the region. If you have some more dated panels that have a lower efficiency rating and a higher degradation rate, it may put you down in five or six percent. It doesn't, it's not going to affect um, 
I should be careful here that it's not going to like, we're not gonna crank out a number that says your home's worth X, right? Because this is all market conditions that are gonna inform those choices at times of sale or refinance. We're just creating the, the paper trail for everybody involved to make sure that they it's acknowledged, valued, and called out in the transaction. Does it also indicate how much Electric, how much money you will save versus a home in the same neighborhood that doesn't have a solar system? Yeah, so we do our best without keeping a database of uh, all rates, all programs, and all fluctuations in every market. So you'll see a it, the rate, the degradation rate, the current savings, the time of installation with a degradation where you can draw your own conclusions saying, you know, in year 25, we'll be producing 9,500 kilowatt hours per annum. The avoided cost should be in a perfect world with net metering X dollars, right? So we do call that out and we do fill in all the data points. But again, as we all know, if I certified a home in uh, DTE territory five years ago, right? And five years expired, you know, whatever the grandfather clause falls off and now all of a sudden we're getting the you know, inflow rate or the, uh, the, whatever the new tariff is, my valuation is all off, right? So we can only speak to the amount of energy that it's going to put out and the standard rate at the time of installation. Um, but we do leave that to the local appraisers and they, you know, can reach out to local installers to figure out what that new program is. And we will support that on the back end as best we can. Um, as you know, keeping track of every rate and program in the entire country and updating would be, uh, a feat that not even companies like Aurora and SolarGraph could keep up with, but we try. Hey, I've got a question here. Um, what happens, you know, I imagine maybe several people on this call, we already have solar installed. How, how does the certification work uh, for us? <laughs> Amy, I'm going to over I'm sorry, I thought somebody else was turning in. I'm going to go over there. Okay. Because I got to listen to this. So you can find the roads with confidence. There we go. Um, I didn't hear what you said, John. You, you said you're passing it on to me. I think, saying? yeah, if you wouldn't mind handling that one, sure. it's not yeah. retro certifications. Absolutely. So um, if you already had solar installed, you can still get a certification. Um, there's a few ways to go about that. Um, I think for this, this crew, we'd be willing to, to do that for you so you could see what the process was like. But essentially, we'd ask for documentation, photos, um, so that we could produce that certification report for you. Now, if you were a typical homeowner who had solar and came across Pearl and was thinking about selling your home, that you, then you would have a certifier. So essentially Pearl has um, a team of certifiers or like Raiders or BPI certified folks that go out and do a full certification where they look at lighting and appliances and windows and doors and, and solar, like the whole nine yards, and then produce a certification report with photo documentation of everything in the house. Um, and that is uh, also coupled with a marketing packet for the real estate agent to use when they when they go to sell the house. So they've got a home tour, there's um, some guidance on what fields in the multiple listing service to mark, how to list the house. Um, we, we have a whole host of things that are specifically for marketing and selling the house as well. Do you touch into issues, uh, you know, that are along the lines of lead certification in terms of like the material, building materials and things of that nature? We don't. So we really focus on the energy performance side of things. Now, if the home has a lead certification or is an was built to Energy Star or home performance with Energy Star, we can capture that information so that it gets included in the valuation. So we um, we aggregate any performance information about that house in a way that a real estate agent, a financial institution, and an appraiser could then value. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, I think um, just to kind of speak fully to that, the way it was best explained to me was we play nice with everybody. 
<laughs> so for for lead and hers and and all the rest uh there's there's areas of our process that that feed directly into that we just you know instead of looking for the mpg of the home we're really looking for the high performing features that we can call out the best features that are you know all of those things to encourage folks again to take that next step so if somebody's just getting that started on their journey um, and maybe makes a good decision when it comes to HVAC or you know decides to go solar we want to encourage them to see the whole value of that investment and really take those next steps right so you know for my dad who got his attic insulated and I said well maybe if you you know finally agreed that LED lights don't you know aren't like the worst looking thing ever and to, you know start taking those steps and now all of a sudden he's getting new and you know high efficiency triple pane windows and all of this and the home is getting there slowly right that's the type of process that we want to facilitate but also reward folks that have taken that full you know holistic approach and done every last thing right and um you know are at the net zero kind of platinum level if you will can, can i ask how how pearl um makes their money how how do you get paid I'm, I'm on your website right now and it appears that to get to a pearl certified contractor uh you would have to go through you to get that sort of recommendation so i'm wondering is it a, is it a line item where we would pay for your efforts at, at putting together the certification package or are you getting a cut of the overall price of the install? Uh, are, are you managing the project itself? How, how does that work? I was expecting to see a list of certified contractors there, but I'm not seeing it. Is, is that uh, operator error on my part or, or is that the way it's set up? Thank you. He's got a big smile, but um, we're just, we're donation based. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no. So um, there's a couple ways that, that we generate revenue. Um, and it is fair to note that we are a for-profit operation. Um, so if you, were to, if you were to have one of our certifiers come out, um, Amy, you may have the going rate on that, someone that does an entire home performance evaluation uh, recommendation. 425 if the homeowner comes directly to us. Right. Now, our, our contracting partners are you know, hand-selected, interviewed, and invited to join our network, and they actually pay a a monthly fee to co-brand, co-market, and have us certify and notarize their work and issue those certifications on their behalf. So when we're talking about uh, hyper, you know, we let's call out Eco Intelligent Homes. One, because they're a great company. Two, because they're part of the Pearl Network. And three, because they did a great job on my home. Um, <clears throat> but it's a very small percentage of what they do uh, or, or of their costs and they actually issue the certifications through us. And so we have a national network of solar home performance and HVAC contractors that pay us a very small fee per certification or per month to issue these on their behalf. We also have a real estate side of things that if a realtor comes across a Pearl certification and needs a training, coaching on their MLS, et cetera, again, a, there is a training and a very small fee associated with that to get that home marketed correctly, turned and sold and trained that realtor. Did I miss anything else, Amy? We're I was selling just... profit bars out front of the Kroger next Sunday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just add that um, it, when we work with a contractor, we're working within their given trade. So if you're an HVAC contractor, you are certifying the HVAC work that you're doing in the home. If the homeowner wants to do more work in the house, then that work can get certified over time. Um, so I just want, so sometimes that's a misconception there. We're going to uh, get cut off any second now. So I'd like to uh, thank John and Amy for the presentation. And also I'd uh, just like to mention that, uh, yeah, everybody, hey, uh, we're going to skip next Thursday because it's uh, right before the July 4th holiday, but we'll start off the, the, uh, the next uh, Thursday, which I believe must be the 9th. So uh, thank you everybody for participating. And again, John and Amy, thanks for uh, uh, sharing your program with us. Thank you for your time. And Charles, we'll see you at the grocery store.